Good morning, YouTube. How are you? So, if you're watching this video, you probably just want to go ahead and get some quick information on one particular topic. Very concise videos, straight to the point. These, that is what this series of videos in this playlist is about. The card that I don't think this card is the card of the day. Let me get another one. You know, sometimes you're like, yeah, that, that might not. That might not be a, a TI card. Um, okay. I guess <laughs> today I'm going to be talking about spiritual baths. But the card that came up is Grace and Sweetness. The pursuit of, per of perfection then is the pursuit of sweetness and light, which is a quote by Matthew Arnold. And I am not sure how that connects to spiritual baths, but let's go ahead and get into it. So I've talked about spiritual baths a lot on this channel, mentioning about how spiritual baths excuse me really heal your aura water obviously and cleansing go hand in hand so when you take showers it cleanses your aura that's why when you come out of the shower people can can tell that you took a shower okay they can tell because you start to look musty and gray and dusty as you don't take showers it just it just is what it is um if you are a TI who has never taken a spiritual bath, I recommend for seven days in a row taking a spiritual bath every day for seven days in a row, not skipping any days and not doing any less. Seven days, seven full days, a bath that is nice and steamy for an hour. And here's how you prepare it. You're gonna get a full bag of coarse salt and pour the entire bag in into steamy bath water you're going to put as many herbs and spices as you can think of now i would give you a list that's going down a different path because it's like different herbs for different things and what and like it's going to get lengthy okay and unnecessarily complicated however Sometimes what you might want to do is you might, might want to get herbal tea bags, organic herbal tea bags that have like real herbs and you put that in, you're, you're going to put like three, four tea bags per um, particular brand, put that in a pot, boil that, steep it for a day or two or at least 24 hours or 12 hours, whatever it is, leave it in the pot overnight or over the course of the day while you're at work, whatever, and then go ahead and put it in your bathtub. Um, along with the salt. You're also going to get both lemon and lime wedges. You're gonna slice them up. You're gonna put them in the bath. You're gonna squeeze them as they go in. And then you're also gonna put slices of ginger. Now, let me show you, I should have taken this up already. Let me show you what these things look like that I'm talking about. So just give me a second as I grab a couple things. So, spiritual bath. First of all, coarse salt. This is coarse salt. Very simple. I think this is like 99 cents or a dollar or something. You can get it at Walmart. You could get it at Costco. You could get like, where can you not get coarse salt, right? What does it look like that you put in your spiritual bath? Ooh, it's dripping, it's dripping, it's dripping. Oh, give me a second. This is dripping. Give me one minute. Okay, this is what, I saved this from one of my spiritual baths so that I could talk about it. Do you see how many herbs are in here? This is a lot. So there are some that I kind of recognize, but I don't know the name. 
and I wish I could make you guys smell it, but there's leaves like this, okay? This is an herb. There's herbs like this. This looks like a flower, almost like a little pine cone top of a flower. There are little leaves like this one, okay? There are pieces of bark or branches like this one, alrighty. So there's a ton of stuff in here that I don't really know what all of them are. But I do know that it makes for an effective bath. So maybe possibly what I want to do now with all of these, I boil this in a very big pot and I let it steep on my oven, on my stove. I think I left it for a day or two, probably a day. And then you put the bath in, I cut. So if this is a lemon, say this is a lemon like this, this is a circle. Let me see if I have, okay. If this is a lemon, I slice it down in wedges like that. And then I take each circular wedge and still cut it in half so it's easy to squeeze. And then I dump it all in there. And then I, I do thin slices of ginger and I put that in there as well. I put all, I do the same thing with a lime in each one, in each bath. That is my first bath. So I take a, I fill the tub, I put all of that stuff in. I sit in that for an hour. I also put crystal tum tumblers, which are very, very small stones, crystal stones that I have, different things different that I want in there. Um, and I put those in the bath. And I sit in there for a minimum of an hour. And then when I come out, I shower, scrub my skin. First of all, the bath is gonna take off a lot of dirt and debris off of your body naturally. Now I do weekly baths and I've done this for so long that I don't have much dirt that comes off of my skin only because like I do it so often. And when you have lemon and salt and all these kind of things in a bath, it really cleans your skin. Like it really clears your skin up. So I, I come out of there, I first, after I drain all the water, I physically wash up the tub to get rid of all that nonsense that got sucked out of my body. And then I wash out the tub, I scrub myself and I go. But for you, if you have a particular attack and you can feel like it's an emergency that you need to take a spiritual bath, then you take a second bath. The first bath to pull everything off of you, you take everything off. All of the herbs, all of the leaves, the lemon, the lime, everything. You take everything and you dump it. You're going to throw that garbage away as well. You don't want to leave that in your home because it's pulled a lot of crap off of you. You dump it. You clean out the tub. You fill it again. More salt, more lemon, more ginger. And take a second bath right away to pull off the excess of what's been taken off of you. And then you shower. So it's almost like you're taking one bath cleaning out another bath then shower and that is to make sure that you pull everything off of you and if you're gonna do it that way double up on the baths you may only need to do three or four days for the first time but i'm saying there's people who've been ti's for six years never taken a bath you are going to need to take suck so much out of you that's been soaking on your body to get you back functioning well especially if you got sick off of this stuff you need to do so. When you're taking spiritual baths, you wanna light a white candle for protection, for healing, for purity. White candles represent healing more than anything. You wanna have some sage going in there, sage it up, some incense going. And like I said, you, you put some stuff, now if you don't have coarse salt or in addition to coarse salt, you can put Epsom salt in there as well. Make sure no oils no lavender oils no kind of oils like that get rid of that don't do that why because they make energy stick on your body that is what i have to say today about spiritual baths they are meant to be a routine that is part of your spiritual hygiene they are meant to stay in your spiritual hygiene if you are a targeted individual once you will remain a targeted individual and so that means you're stepping into a totally different life and this is not a one-time thing you got to continue doing it <coughs> excuse me the crystal cards of the day <coughs> 
that came up are, oh my God. We have four, but I'll read two of the four. One, find ways to fill your cup. Be self-full. Follow your heart and always trust your intuition. Go deep within, find your triggers, and address them one by one. Self-healing is the best healing. Only then can you offer the, ve the best version of yourself. Boy... Have I had to heal triggers to get to a, a peaceful place? Because once they know your trigger, they trigger it. So keep that in mind. It's time to hit the reset button. Clear out the old so that room is available for the new to enter. Trust that better things are coming fast. Prepare to move to the next phase of your life. This is your rebirth. Welcome to this beautiful brand new energy. You've got this. The whole point of what we're doing here is to re be reborn the best version of ourselves so that we can face heaven on earth. I have a video that is front and center on the channel called Spiritual Ascension. It is a must listen to. You have to hear it. It is amazing and it will give you a whole new perspective on being a TI. It is worth it. And check out the other videos in this particular playlist because it's very short videos with very, very good information, very basic and easy to digest. And let's go ahead and get a crystal of the day. If left to my own devices, I would own every crystal ever made by the end of my life, and I probably will. Um, Rhodochrosite, the crystal of enhancing relationships. The vibration is earthy and high, and it is a selfless love crystal. Obviously, it's pink. All the love crystals tend to be pink. Stunning pink rhodochrosite encourages the spontaneous expression of feelings. Removing denial, it teaches the heart to assimilate painful feelings without shutting down. Identifying ongoing relationship patterns, it reveals the purpose behind an experience. It is the stone par excellence for healing sexual abuse and is wonderful for people who feel unloved. A powerful heart healer, rhodochrosite brings lightness into life. This compassionate stone lifts a depressed mood and imparts a dynamic attitude to life. Rhodochrosite attracts a soulmate, but this may not be a blissful experience as soulmates assist with all forms of life lessons, even harsh ones. Gang stalkers are soulmates. Those are your soulmates. They're meant to come here to teach you something, to guide you through something. On the body, it helps with reproductive, respiratory, and circulatory systems kidneys eyes blood pressure and thyroid and in the spirit it expands consciousness this is the crystal of the day this is the message of the day i hope you have a wonderful day and remember god loves you